Hi guys, this is uh, Hidoi Sensei here, and I'm going to do a quick review of the Ectaco Jetbook Reader. Um, yeah, this is a pretty nice piece of kit. Uh, it's a 5 inch reader, so it's a little bit smaller than the Sony e reader or the Amazon Kindle. Uh, I got it for $170 from Newegg.com. Um, it comes with a CD with some software, a USB cable, AC adapter, uh, a small, very thin manual, and a couple of protective covers uh, at the top here. You can see you've got your SD card slot along with the USB, the USB slot. On the bottom, on the bottom you have the power button and a headphone jack. On the right hand side you have your alphanumeric keypad. Um, it also has I think the Russian alphabet which sort of makes things a bit confusing when you're trying to push the correct button but it's not too bad. On the left hand side you have a slider you can use to change the pages. At first I, I wasn't keen about this, but it's sort of grown on me a little bit. I kind of like it. On the bottom left, again, we have a couple more buttons for changing the pages. And on the bottom right, you have your four-way directional keypad, the OK button. You've got a menu button, a font button you can use to change the, the size of the fonts. You've got your back key or cancel or your escape and you've got the button to change between portrait mode and landscape mode also on the back if there's ever some sort of problem and you need to reset they've got the reset button there all right so let's turn it on uh, the first time you turn it on it will take about 30 seconds to start up but every time after that when you turn it off using the power button it just goes into sleep mode so it will turn on quite quickly it'll take maybe three seconds or so um, this jet book is not an e-reader it's not like the Amazon Kindle or the Sony e-reader which use an e-ink technology um, this is a, a non backlit LCD screen uh, it still has the same advantage of the e-ink reader in that you can you can read this book out in the sun and you you can see perfectly also you can read it and some people get eye strain by looking at LCD screens but this won't cause any eye strain at all so it's really handy that way uh, take a quick look through the menus got a menu for book books audiobooks and music pictures uh, also things like uh, comic books things like that um, and then your different settings if you go to the settings you can see that you've got the user settings where you can change things like the languages um, how long it takes to auto power off the volume uh, different fonts there's only two different fonts I think uh, Arial and uh, Verdan or something like that um, if you go back system settings uh, I don't think you'd really need to use this very often uh, you've got the different file managers you have the internal file man manager and also the SD card file manager I should mention that this uh, jetbook comes with 128 megabyte onboard memory so you don't need the SD key it's sorry SD card uh, but it's handy I've got a 1 gigabyte card in here and to be honest I think that's really all I would need um, let's take a look at some books uh, go to books books again it's all divided up into different folders uh, the jetbook is really great because you can make your own folders if you plug this into the computer using the USB cable it will show up as a portable hard drive and so you can create folders to your heart content or whatever so this is all the standard stuff I think 
there must be about 80 different books that come preloaded onto the thing. Uh, let's get one I've put on here. I made up a post-apocalyptic folder. I've only got one book in here now. Stories of the Apocalypse. So it doesn't take too, lo too long to load up. A few seconds. It's not too bad. Um, so you can see, I mean, it looks great. No problem reading it. No eye strain. Uh, the one advantage of the LCD screen over the e-ink screens, like this Amazon Kindle, is that when you turn the page, they don't have that annoying flash or splash or whatever when the screen uh, flashes to black. Uh, I found that really annoying. So it's nice that these uh, pages turn with, with no delay and no black screen. I mean that's that's beautiful that's key for me uh, let's go back the files that you can have on this uh, are Mobi PDF EPUB uh, what else can you get on there um, also text files there might be upcoming support for HTML and um, FB reader I think uh, also for picture files it will support uh, bitmaps and JPEGs and PNG files. Um, I was hoping I could use that, go down to pictures, for comic books. I thought that would be really handy. Unfortunately, I think the screen is just a little bit, maybe just a little bit too small. You see here I've got, uh, got some Calvin and Hobbes on there. Um, yeah, sorry, the video quality's not that great. I'm using my PS3 eye toy here. Um, but it works. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. The screen could be a little bit bigger. That would be nice. But, but the small form factor allows you to uh, fit this into your pocket fairly, fairly easily. Also, I should mention that um, this doesn't feel fragile. I mean, it's... This is a tough, nice hard plastic. I wouldn't at all be worried about dropping this into my into my pants uh, pants pocket or, or whatever. I wouldn't be worried. I think it's it's quite a strong e-reader. You don't have to worry in that regard. Uh, so for the the pros of this, I like it uh, because it's extremely cheap compared to the other e-readers. It doesn't have the annoying flash. Uh, it's very sturdy. It's very small, so it's truly portable. Uh, you can put it in your pocket. You will know it's there, but you can still slip it into your pocket if you want. Uh, it does support quite a few different format file formats. Some of the problems with the Jetbook is that um, a it doesn't support DRM book files. So DRM, Amazon has uh, some protection on, on their books so that you can only play them on an Amazon e uh, Kindle. So anything that you buy from the Amazon store or from the Sony bookstore, you won't be able to play on this. If you are technologically adept and do a little research on the internet, you can buy those books and then remove the DRM technology you can strip it or else you could look to other means to get your books or you could just stick to the classics which have no protection and there's you know thousands of those also um, the firmware I don't want to say that you need to be a, a rocket scientist to install the new firmware but it is not uh, so straightforward um, on the other hand they are updating it quite quite often unlike the Sony reader so I'm expecting good things I think they're gonna add a lot of different support for this book so for um, you know for hundred seventy dollars I'd say it's well worth it um, especially if you're put off by the e-ink technology um, I think this would be a worthwhile purchase 